Good morning. Our lecture today is about the local complications of the local anesthesia. The complications associated with the administration of local anesthesia classified into local and systemic. Local complications of the local anesthesia are as follows. 1. Pain on injection 2. Burning on injection 3. Failure to obtain anesthesia 4. Persistent anesthesia 5. Needle breakage 6. Facial nerve paralysis 7. Trismus 8. Soft tissue injury 9. Hematoma 10. Infection At first we discussed the pain on injection. Pain on injection increases patient anxiety and may lead to sudden and expected movement increasing the risk of needle breakage causes of pain one careless injection technique to rapid deposition of the solution three low ph of the solution four the temperature of the solution warmer solution is more comfortable than the cold one 5. Aggressive, aggressive insertion of the needle can tear the soft tissue and blood vessels or nerve or periosteum causing more pain. Prevention of this complication by avoiding the causes. Second complication is the burning on injection. Burning sensation occurring during injection of local anesthesia is common, causes also low pH of the solution. Another cause is rapid injection of local anesthesia. 3. The contamination of local anesthesia cartilage with uh, alcohol or any stored substance or solution. Management because most instances of burning on injection are transient and do not lead to prolonged tissue involvement, no treatment is indicated. The Third complication, failure to obtain anesthesia. Although the incidence of this difficulty lead, tends to decrease as the experience of the operator increases. This problem is most common with the block anesthesia. Causes one poor technique. Injection of anesthesia too soon on anterior ascending ramus or giving the solution inferior to the mandibular fire. Second causes of this complication anatomical causes may be accessory nerve supply, maybe abnormal course of the nerve, maybe variation in the foramen location, and sometimes the tooth is innervated by more than one nerve. Also this complication may be due to pathological causes. Trismus, limited mouth opening, in these cases, it is difficult to use the conventional technique of inferior nerve block. This is one of the pathological causes. After trismus, the infection and inflammation of the pulp cause low pH and affect the effectiveness of anesthesia in this area. The inflammation makes the nerve more sensitive to pain. Another cause of failure to obtain anesthesia is the psychological causes. Fear and anxiety can cause failure in local anesthesia. Another complication of local anesthesia is persistence of Resistant anesthesia or paralysis.
which can be defined as altered sensation beyond the expected duration of anesthesia or it is the prolonged loss of sensation it is common in dental practice causes one trauma to any nerve during injection may lead to paresthesia to injection of local anesthesia contaminated by neurotoxic substances such as alcohol near a nerve three hemorrhage and infection in a close proximity to a nerve may lead to transient paresthesia prevention strict adherence to injection protocol and proper care and handling of dental cartridge management most paresthesia resolves within approximately eight weeks without treatments another complication of uh, local anesthesia is needle breakage breakage of needle or retention of needle within the tissues have become an extremely rare occurrence because of the introduction of disposable needles however the parts of needle breakage still appear causes one the primary cause of needle breakage is weakening of the dental needle by bending it before its insertion into the patient mouth two the sudden and expected movement of the patient three smaller needles such as gauge 30 are far more likely to break than the larger needles such as gauge 25 reuse of the needle repeated injection cause fatigue of the needle structure and increase the risk of needle breakage incorrect use of the needle aggressive insertion of the needle or sudden change in the direction or TD penetration of the needle or needle may be defective and manufactured prevention of this complication the dentist should check the needle before using them using larger needle and long needle for techniques needing penetration of significant depth do not redirect the needle once it is inserted into the tissue management stay calm and try to localize broken part in the tissue tell the patient what has happened and try to relax and comfort them stabilize the patient's jaws in order that the needle stays in place if a portion of the needle is visible grasp them or grasp it firmly with a hemostate to remove it if you cannot remove refer to the maxillofacial surgeon another complication is facial nerve paralysis paralysis of facial muscles on one side is an uncommon complication of the inferior alveolar block and may be either partial or complete depending on upon which branches of the nerve are affected cause this complication arises if the tip of the needle is inserted too far and behind the ascending ramus Another complication is a trismus. Trismus defined as a prolonged spasm of the jaw muscles by which the normal opening of the mouth is restricted. Lock jaw causes trauma to the muscles due to injection of local anesthesia, which is the most theological common factor in trismus. Muscles irritation to local anesthesia also is another cause hematoma and infection after injection can cause trismus excessive volume of local anesthesia also can cause this complication prevention use sharp sterile disposable needle 
practice a traumatic insertion and injection technique avoid repeated injection and multiple insertion into the same area use the minimum effective volume of local anesthetic solution management heat therapy which consists of applying hot and moist towels to the affected area for approximately 20 minutes use analgesia and muscle relaxants the patient is advised to initiate physiotherapy consisting of opening and closing the mouth as well as lateral executions of the mandible chewing gum is another means of providing lateral movement of the temporal mandibular joint another complication is soft tissue injury the most tissue anesthesia last longer than palpable anesthesia trauma to the anesthetized soft tissue can lead to swelling pain and even infection causes self-inflicted trauma to the lips and tongue frequently occurs when the patient bites or chews these tissues while still anesthetized prevention the local anesthetic of appropriate duration should be selected a cotton roll can be placed between the lip and the teeth warm the patient against or when the patient again is drinking hot flows and biting the lips or tongue. Management is symptomatic analgesia, antibiotic, warm saline uh, to aid in decreasing any swelling present. Use any lubricant to cover the lesion, minimize the irritation. And the complication of local anesthesia is hematoma. Hematoma is a localized mass of extravasated blood that may become clinically noticeable following injection. This goes by penetration of blood vessel with the needle during injection. Most commonly, blood vessels associated with hematoma intraorally, the Trigoid venous plexus, the posterior superior alveolar vessels, the inferior alveolar vessels, and the trigomandibular space, the mental vessels, and the infraorbital vessels. Prevention by learn anatomical landmarks and injection techniques, avoiding relocating the needle to different sites inside the tissue. Management, if it is visible, immediately following injection. Apply direct pressure, uh, pressure if possible. Once bleeding has stopped, inform the patient of what was happened and evaluate the possibilities of continuing the treatment. Last complication is infection. Infection after local anesthesia has become rare since the introduction of sterile disposable needles causes contamination improper technique injection the solution into an area of infection prevention of this complication use of sterile disposable needle proper handling of the needle use cartilage only once and two in it in their original container management if infection does occur the patient will complain of pain and trismus immediate treatment consists of procedure used to manage trismus course of antibiotic should be prescribed to the patient for seven days summary to give efficient local anesthesia you should gather the following three elements one through anatomical knowledge two mastering a good technique three sterile handling of the dental syringe assembly this is the end of our lecture good luck for our students thank you